Afghanistan in transition. As NATO forces prepare to withdraw from Afghanistan, there are concerns that the country's economy, which many feel is too reliant on aid money, could be vulnerable. That vulnerability could be exploited by Pakistan and Iran as they vie for influence in a post-NATO power vacuum. Tony Chen reports from Kabul. Welcome to Wall Street, Afghan style. This is Kabul's currency market, where the winding staircases and courtyards are home to transactions of tens of millions of dollars every day. Huge stacks of cash, US dollars, Afghanis, euros, in bundles of the highest denominations. This doesn't look like one of the poorest nations in the world. It's a system sustained by the concepts of Islamic banking. Huge amounts of money transferred on the basis of trust. But earlier this year, traders noticed something in the bundles of 1,000 and 500 Afghani notes. The printing was a little vague, and on closer inspection, the watermark could be scratched off. Mohammed Tahir Kayumi has been trading here for 21 years. These were the best fakes he'd ever seen. And he's sure this wasn't the work of gangsters trying to make a fast buck. These are good quality fakes. This, the paper is good, the watermark is good. Where do you think these are coming from? This money comes from neighborhooding countries, in the same way they send us suicide attackers, and their goal is to devalue our currency. That Afghanistan's neighbors have been playing games in the country's politics is certainly not a new phenomenon. But the use of currency manipulation is a relatively new tactic, in part due to the fact that the Afghan economy may now be vulnerable. Against the odds, Afghanistan's economy has actually done quite well in the last couple of years. But people are getting concerned that as 2014 approaches and the transition takes place, foreign aid money will be pulled out and the economy will start to weaken. As the security transition gets underway, many fear the huge influx of foreign investment that has boosted the Afghan economy could be pulled out too. And the local currency could be open to manipulation when the strength of the US dollar is removed. At the Central Afghan Bank, they're not so concerned about the daily fluctuations in the currency markets. And in the long term, recent discoveries of mineral deposits, gas and oil could fill the financial gap left by the US. But 2014 is approaching fast, and the Afghan economy will find it hard to stand on its own feet. If the uh, donor nations will suddenly stop uh, helping Afghanistan, we, we will have some difficult and challenges uh, ahead of us. Kabul's skyline has changed much in the past 10 years, as a decade of relative peace and an influx of foreign investment has encouraged growth. And for that to continue, Afghanistan will have to show it can no longer be manipulated from outside. Tony Cheng, CCTV, Kabul.